So today I want to show you how to crochet these fingerless gloves. Uh, they are fishnet fingerless gloves actually. And they are perfect for Halloween or so. They are very easy to do and you can do them only by following this tutorial. But if you prefer to follow a written pattern, I will leave a link below for the written pattern so you can follow that instead. But let's begin. First, a little about the materials. For the yarn, I've used this 100% cotton yarn. This is mercerized, but it don't has to be at all. I just like the blackness of this yarn. Um, this is the info right here. This is a lightweight yarn and you can see, yeah. I will leave a link down in the description how much yarn you will need for this and also where you can find this yarn. Then I've used a three and a half millimeter hook and some scissors and a tapestry needle. So instead of showing you what to do in this horrible black color, I have chosen to show you in a very bright yellow color. So you're actually able to see what I'm doing. And let me show you how to do it. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop and do a slip knot. Then we chain 40. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 40 times. So when you have 40 chains, we will now be working into the chains. So you skip your first one, skip this one, move on to the second chain and do a single crochet. So just insert the hook and single crochet in this. Find your next chain, do a single crochet in this. And find your next chain, single crochet. Continue with one single crochet in every chain all the way across. We did 40 chains, so we skip the first one. You should have 39 chain, uh, single crochet when you're done. If you are doing larger gloves than this, you will just add chains in multiples of five. If you're doing smaller gloves, you can remove chains in multiple of five. So I did 40. If you want larger, you can do 45 or 50 chains. And then you have your first row. Now we connect the ends. So make sure it doesn't twist and then put the ends together like so. Make sure you have the thread around here. And then you slip stitch in the first stitch of the round. So the first single crochet you did, you will slip stitch into this. And then we will just begin crocheting in rounds. So this you will just sew together with this little excess yarn. Now we will begin. And you will begin with a chain of five. So chain five. One, two, three, four, five chains. And then you skip four chains, uh, four stitches. One, two, three, four. Skip these four stitches and do a single crochet in the fifth stitch. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. Do a single crochet in the fifth. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip four, one, two, three, four, single crochet in the fifth. Continue like this all the way around. When we're back at the beginning, we will finish with the chain five. One, two, three, four, five and then instead of doing the single crochet at the bottom we will do the single crochet in this first chain five space 
So we will just insert the hook directly into this chain 5 and single crochet into this as if it was a stitch. And then we will chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we will find the next chain space, this one, and we will do the single crochet into this. And then we chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then find your next space, this one and single crochet. And then we just continue like this around and around. So continue all the way around with chain 5, single crochet, chain 5, single crochet. And you just continue in rounds, actually in spirals. And when you're all the way around, you see, you just continue. They are, there are spaces and gaps. Even though we are switching rows, you just work in spirals. So just keep working around and around in the same pace. And when you have five rounds, you can count it by counting the gaps. One, two, three, four, five rounds. You will do one gap with 15 stitches instead of five. So 15 chains. So instead of doing five chains for this next one, you'll do 15 chains. So one, two, and 15 and then you'll do a single crochet in the next so just a regular single crochet just like all the others in the next and then you just continue five single uh, five sorry five chains three four five and then a single crochet in the next gap then you just continue all the way around five single crochet Sorry, five chains and then a single crochet. And when you make it all the way around to this big uh, gap, you will just treat it as if it was a little one. So you do your five chains and then you do one single crochet in this huge gap. And then you chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you find your next little gap after that. So just do a single crochet in the next one. And then chain five, two, three, four, five. And a single crochet in the next. And then everything is back to normal. So you just do five chains, single crochet around and around. And you will just continue until you feel this glove is long enough. And this up here where you started, this is where the fingers will be. And this big gap is where the thumb will be. So you can put in your thumb like so and put it on so you can measure it. And then you see this will become all right when you do a few more rounds. So now you just continue all the way down until you feel this glove is long enough. I ended up doing around 40 rounds and this now fits uh, the length of my arm. And you can see the measurement. It is around 40 centimeters as well. But you, of course, just stop when you like the length. You can also stop here or here. That's totally up to you. So to finish it up, I hope you can see this horrible black yarn. But I will just do uh, a few slip stitches in this next uh, little gap. So just insert the hook and slip stitch and then do another two slip stitches just to get it down in the same uh, height. And that's it. Then I will cut the yarn and leave some for sewing. Pull the hook through the loop 
and then you just weave in the end and you just take your tapestry needle and run through some of these stitches just along the edge like so and also on the way back I always do a few extra just back and forth a couple of times and of course you will also fix the other end where we started you have this ugly bump because we were turning the rows down here so this is not that pretty so you will just insert the needle here and then sew it a bit together here and then weave in the end and finally you cut all ends so now you just put them on and remember they have to be a little bit tight because they have no gift so they have to stay up and that's it so i hope you found this tutorial easy to follow if you did please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you again soon bye